Hello YouTube, Intuitive Edge. Today I would like to look at what is happening in South Africa regarding the land grab from the farmers and what is what is really going on down there. What is this about? Um, something tells me just in my gut that we're not being told what's really going on and we in the United States are probably not getting the full picture of what's actually happening. So in this video, I'd like to explore, um, with the help of the tarot, get some intuitive insight as to what is really going on down there. What is the truth? And what are we not being told? And what is the truth about what the situation that is happening down there? So with that, um, I'm going to shuffle up the cards, set this aside, and then I will shuffle up the cards and we'll be back and get started. All right, I've shuffled up the cards. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. So what is happening regarding the land grab, um, the land that is being taken and returned back to um, indigenous peoples um, in South Africa? What's really going on there? Okay. So we have a messenger card telling us there's more to the story. There's more to what's being shown. And we have the sun card on top of this, which um, generally um, whenever the sun does show up, it flavors the reading in a more positive light. So let's get a little more um, information as to what we're looking at with this. So on the card of what we know, what's what we what we see and know is going on. This is a card of um, sadness, um, having to move, walk away from something. Um, uh, it, it's a it's a card of loss, of grieving, of transformative change that leaves you um, feeling displaced and having to move on. And we know that that's very true with um, some of these um, farmers that have been, had their land taken from them. They are basically left homeless, destitute. Um, some of them are, from what I've heard and read, they are taking refuge in places like Russia to, um, to try to get away from the possibility of being killed. Um, now what's led up to this, we have the tower card. This is a destructive energy. This is a card of um, something being very, very wreaking havoc, um, very destructive energy coming in. And as we know, you know, kicking somebody off their land um, can be very destructive to that end, uprooting somebody's life. Now, so the Earth Queen upside down, when you have the Earth Queen, she, her energy is um, one of being very stoic and very solid in who she is. When she's, when she's reversed, her energy can be um, very authoritative in a, in a negative way, like um, wanting to take back authority or being very um, authoritative, I guess best way to put that now this is in the past position so what this is telling me is this this energy of um, wanting to take authority or take control um, in kind of a harsh manner it goes along with this tower card and being in the past position uh, tells me that this is kind of this is the energy these are very much linked together this energy of what's led up to this now so this is a card of balance so this energy, this is past, this is future. So with this energy of wanting to take control, um, this is, and this is a card of balance. This tells me that balance is not going to be achieved um, in the in the interim, in the meantime, in in the near future coming up. That this is this is upsetting of a balance, um, taking artificially, I think. Um, upsetting the balance of something and it's it's putting things at odds with um, with what would be a peaceful calm transition 
Um, so there's a very um, upsetting energy. Next we have the Nine of Sea, a Sky, excuse me. Nine of Sky is very much um, being um, upset. It's sadness. It's being in fear. It's having your fears manifest. Um, it's like manifesting all of the negative emotions that, that one normally wouldn't want to see come come to fruition. So this is like having bad things happen to you, um, which this is in the situation um, for the farmers right now. They're having their worst nightmares come to pass, basically. Um, on the, so what's behind it? So there's some sort of, this is like hope being dashed. This is a card of hope and it's on the reversal. So it feels like, um, like what you've hoped for is not happening. Kind of the same energy with this having your worst nightmare come to fruition and feeling your hope kind of evaporate or not feeling the hope that the hope is there. Um, this is a card. Let's see if I can make sure you guys can see all of these as I put them out here. So this is a card of like meeting, strategizing. Um, this is wanting to come to the table and negotiations, but this is like negotiations not happening, um, not coming to, not being, how do I want to say it? Um, wanting to negotiate, but not it not happening the way you want or not being able to come to any kind of settlement or conclusion, um, feeling left out of the discussion. This is a card of, you know, if you were, you're having something happen to you and you're not able to come to the table and plead your case kind of thing. Um, this feels very underrepresented. Um, like if you had a, a really bad attorney and you didn't, you didn't get to, to plead your case right. Um, this is like not even getting to have an attorney. This is like not even getting to plead your case. Um, this is having people plot against you with not having any recourse whatsoever. That's that feeling. And then we have the world upside down. This is a card of, generally speaking, of success, having the world at your fingertips. But when it's reversed, it's like you're, the, it's, you're basically, okay, you can look at it literally like their world is turned upside down. But it's also um, that this will not be met with success, which is interesting with this because these cards are connected. We have the, the future, immediate future, what's coming up, and then the outcome. So and they're somehow linked. And we have this like not achieving the right balance and then not having the success you want. So I don't know if that's saying that this this whole land thing is not going to bring balance and it's not going to um, have the success that maybe they want it to, whoever they are, the government that, that is taking this land from these farmers, um, it's not going to produce what they're wanting it to, and it's not going to have the success it needs. Now with the sea queen underneath, um, so this is a card of emotional upset, being emotionally bereft, um, bereaved, grieving, um, not being on good, emotionally grounded, solid feeling. This is, this is a card of upheaval, um, emotionally ungrounded. The only saving grace in this reading is the sun card, meaning that perhaps eventually the outcome, um, the, I think for, okay, because this sun card fell on the bridge, to me, this card is this card in this position is the bridge to the reading. This is how you get from the past to the future to the outcome. This is what you need to work on. This is your obstacle that you need to overcome in any reading. When I do the 10 card Celtic cross, this is how I interpret it. And with the bridge being the sun card. And let's see, is that sun on the reversal. No, it's not. Okay. Um, sorry, I had to 
put my cards a certain way. Anyway, anyway, yeah. When it goes this direction, it's, is that upright or reversed? Hold on just a sec. Yeah, okay, so it is a reversal. Now, okay, the way it's facing the camera, this looks like upright, but according to this reading, when the card faces this way, it's a reversal. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's, that looks confusing. Anyway, I, I had to get my bearings for a second there. So with the sun reverse, it just means that they're, for these farmers that can um, maybe get to a new a new country like Russia or someplace where they can start over, um, they will be able to do that. Um, they, they will have an okay time moving forward. Some of them, probably most of them, if they're able to. Um, but for the, for right now, it's a pretty chaotic situation and the challenge is going to be how to, how to stay in a place or in a positive enough place where you can get your feet underneath you again and get your bearings underneath you again, or that, whether that means moving away or finding some other means, um, of survival. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be tough. This is a lot of upheaval. This is a lot of upheaval in the what the farmers are going through, having their their worst nightmares basically, and then just feeling like all hope is lost. So a very challenging time for them. Um, again, I don't think that the United States media. I don't think we get the whole picture over here. I think that we largely, you know, get little snippets here and there, and we don't get to really know what is actually going on down there. But for the people affected, I think it's a very real, um, challenging, very difficult and dark time for a lot of them. So anyway, so I'm hopeful um, that this card, the sun card, can bring a little bit of hope that eventually things will work out for, for some of them that are able to um, find the means within themselves to you know, replant themselves. Um, replant their families and be able to rebuild their lives. So, okay, that's all I've got for this reading. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. If you'd like to leave a like, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye-bye.